Okay, Volkswagen coolant leak. This one will only leak when it's running and it start out really slow. And so on short trips, it didn't leak very much, but on very long trips, it would leak quite a bit. Now this is a Volkswagen, but the method used to find this leak can be used on just about any vehicle. Just keep in mind, if you do any of the things that I do, you're gonna end up like me, burnt, bruised, or bleeding before the job's over. And in this particular type of work, your, your arms are going to end up looking like this. And this. We, of course, had to put a pressure tester on here. It takes a special tool that fits down in here and seals off in here because your overflow hole is down in here near the threads. The reason I say you have to use the pressure tester on something like this is because I literally could not find this leak until I put the pressure tester on it and put a lot of pressure on it. That way I could hear some gurgling coming out and follow the sound to get a general idea of where the noise was so I could get a general idea of where the leak was. Now we checked all the usual suspects like the radiator hoses up here and the other radiator hose down here, bottom and top. But of course, it wasn't that easy. The sound I heard came from below and behind the engine in the back, which you cannot see any of that from up here, even though I took the engine cover off, took the snorkel off. But you can see some of these hoses back here, which these weren't the culprit, it wasn't leaking here. Even though, you can see I have one off here because this one runs from here underneath and over, all the way over to the passenger side, way under the throttle body and everything under here. I'll show you from the bottom. And one of the problems here is this is the side that the air conditioning drips from. So when it was dripping ever so slightly over here, but so was the air conditioning. So that makes it very confusing. Now, if you look up there, you can see where that, way up there, you can see where that hose attached to the, where it goes into the firewall for the heater core. It came over, 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 where you can't really see, but there, you can see where I've taken it off. See that nipple right there where I removed it. And the actual hole in the hose was on that far side where you could not see the hole. And right up against that other hose, where the other hose was acting like somebody putting their finger on the hole. And so that it wouldn't leak unless it was really under a lot of pressure after the engine was full operating temperature for quite some time. And then it would finally start leaking out and then anytime the car had sat for any length of time you could not see anything coming out so a lot of these things are like that you just really cannot find these things until you get the pressure tester on there and get quite a bit of pressure on it so you can force a large amount of fluid to come out and then follow first the sound if it's hidden like this, way underneath stuff, listen for it, and then go looking for the drip, and then follow the upstream, the fluid. Now this is the actual hose that I took off of it. And over here where you could normally see the hose, where it goes into the heater core, is fine. And you follow it up here. And up here where it goes into the spot that ain't got a spot, and you can't see anything is where the tear is the actual hole and this had been leaking for a while it probably started out really small which is even harder and harder to find and then it finally got big enough to where still even you still had to have a pressure tester to, to find this
So let's get a new hose on this and we'll have it back on the road. Till the next video, get off the couch and get dirty. A little bonus information. When you have a leak like this, it's really hard to find. Don't automatically assume that you've got a blowed head gasket. Look for white smoke coming out the tailpipe. Look for milky engine oil, which this does not have. And even if you have that, still don't assume that the head gasket is leaking. Because if it's a German car, they have a heat exchanger for an oil cooler that can leak in here and mix the coolant with the engine oil. When you fill the reservoirs up, don't just assume that it's full. Let it run until it gets to operating temperature, then let it cool off, then check it again. I've had some luck putting the pressure tester on it before I crank the engine up. Then we're playing around with the hoses, squeezing them and whatnot. Then take the pressure tester off of it and top it off. If you have the luxury or you have permission to take it on long trest drive, like taking it to lunch, letting it cool off for a couple of hours, then checking it again, or driving it home, letting it cool off, checking it, checking it again before you leave in the morning, that kind of thing, so that you can check it two or three times, that's great. But just don't do that without customer's permission. One last tip on these, when you've got to stick your arm up in any vehicle that you're working on, all the way up to your elbows and stuff, do not forget to put your gloves on like I did the first time. Because you're going to end up looking like this. And if your hands look like that, this is what the first thing's going to happen. You're going to get the urge to pee. And then you got to stand there at the sink with the water running, washing your hands. The water running while you gotta pee. Personally, I'd rather be burnt, bruised, or bleeding. Like and subscribe and share our videos. Remember, sharing is caring.